Well, hello guys, today we are here again for another unboxing, this time of a smartphone and we're going to do a quick review on it. This is a Blue Boo Picasso, which is like a budget smartphone. It retails for about $70 on Gearbest, I think, and it possesses a quad-core processor from MediaTek, an MT6753 uh, if I'm not mistaken, 2 gigs of RAM and an 8 megapixel frontal and back camera so let's start with the unboxing as we can see the box is really it's, it's really plain not there's not much to it just says picasso beauty is beauty is beauty so quite redundant i guess but we're not here for that we're here for the specs and here we can see that that we have an empty an empty 6580a quad core and like what i said uh, 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of ROM, uh, 8 megapixels of back and 8 megapixels in the front, and uh, we have an HD screen which is good for a cell phone of this price, and we have Android 5.1, which is also not bad. So let's start by opening it up, see what's inside. As we can see here, the cell phone is already on the top, which is quite a, an interesting choice. So I'm just gonna undo the zoom a bit. Here we have the cell phone on the plastic protector. We have a micro USB cable for charging, uh, uh, a, ch a charger for the cell phone, which is oh, it's not that great. It's it's like um, uh, you can see here. It's only 600 megahertz, uh, megahertz low, um, 600 milliamps of output voltage, which is really bad. Usually we have at least one amp of output voltage or else it will charge really slowly. And we have just this as the quick, quick, quick start guide. But I guess for the price we cannot ask for much. So let's get it started. Let's go up for the phone and we're going to go and see what's the, what are the aesthetics of the phone. So well this is the Blue Boo Picasso like I said. On the top we have here the flash which is good for a phone of this price once again. We have the camera over here, the speaker, here we have the prote the protective film that's included, so I'm not going to revo remove it just yet. Uh, the phone has, has like uh, no physical buttons, as you can see here, it's all on-screen buttons. On the right side we have this power button and this volume rocker. So I'm going to try on the back side so on the back of the phone now we can see it has an interesting pattern it's it's like diamonds but it's kind of cheesy pe character, but it still looks kind of decent, so no worries there. On the left side, I it's pretty slim, nothing here. To see, we have the speakers on the underside of it. We have the speakers on the underside of it alongside a micro, micro USB port for charging. And we have a 3.5 millimeter in output on the top. So let's just turn it up a quick, real quick. It's the first time. I guess we'll turn it up a little bit later. It should. It's. It is in need of a charge. So I'm just gonna take off the. To take off the back cover, you go here. Then you just pull it off. I have my doubts about the. How long it will take because like this back back part, it's really flimsy. Doesn't feel that great. You can see here it comes off. Here we see the, the lithium ion battery which has 2.5 yeah, amps an hour, so milliamps, 2500 milliamps, nothing too big. Here we have the slot for two sims and a slot for a micro SD card which is good. So let's just open it up. It's quite interesting, nothing too much to see here. So. I guess we'll just go and we will update you in a bit to see how it looks like 
while running the Android OS. Well, hello guys, we're back again and now we have here the test of the Antutu benchmark. It has gotten 22,667 points, uh, which is not bad I guess for the, the price, because remember this is just like a $70 phone and it is on par, almost on par with the um, Snapdragon 401 two that we just recently tested, the BK Aquarius X5. That one had a 27,000 something of score. So here you can see how it compares to the other phones, like it's really on the bottom tier, but this is just a phone. Here you can see. Here you can see that it has just 22,000 667 points but it's still not that bad because this is just a phone that you buy for cheap and you just use it without having the fear to break it so up next we're gonna show you a bit how it works for example we're gonna just scroll it, scroll it around a bit and go on the definitions for example if we go on the settings, here you can see that the phone is running Android 5.1. It is the, the Picasso model, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I'm just going to show you our, our real racing plays real quick. And since this is the first time playing it, we'll have to install some, some stuff. So we'll be right back after this, to um, after it has installed, so I can show you a bit of gameplay. And after that, we're going to show you how the camera fares and how the video quality is. But for now, since, since it is still installing some stuff, I can talk to you about the general usability. I mean, for a phone that is just $70, it is pretty decent. I mean, you don't expect an, ex an absolutely flawless experience of the, um, of the phone. I mean, I guess that's that's to be that is to be expected because it's not that expensive. So you need you probably have to spend a little bit more if you want an absolutely flawless experience. This is just a good phone to give it to your kids because it is a pretty cheap phone. It, you don't care that much if it breaks, and it's still capable of going for into websites, checking your email, all all that kind of stuff. Also the battery duration, I found it to be pretty decent. It lasts about one day to one day and a half with moderate usage or even with using the uh, data, mobile data, it, it still pretty, lasts pretty a pretty long time. So about the sound quality, uh, for those of you that are audiophiles, uh, don't expect for it to um, to substitute your mobile player, like I, I'm just gonna show you now the 2.5 millimeter jack. It is it is pretty decent. Also, the sound quality is not that bad from the 3.5 millimeter itself. The speakers are also kind of decent. Uh, you can hear the phone loud and clear. Once again, you don't you shouldn't expect a re re uh, really great quality from it, but they do the task just fine. And for example, the camera flash, it is also pretty good because as you can see here, it's a dual LED. It has two LEDs, which is not, which is really interesting. Uh, and we also have an LED on the front, which works and helps taking selfies and, and such. So I think that's it for the overall view of the phone. So I'll just, we'll bring it back once it has installed so you can see the performance on a game. On a game. So we're right back. Well, hello guys. So now we're back, and here we have the real racing tree. Like I said, this is just the tutorial. As you can see, you can tell that the GPU acceleration is not that great because the device lags a bit. It's not the most fluid experience, but that is to be expected with a budget device. I mean, you wouldn't be expecting to play a fluid um, 3D game like this on a $70 device. So if you want to do extreme gaming, you should probably look somewhere else. Like you can see that it is a bit, a little bit, a little bit laggy. It should be like 15 FPS or something. The, the GPU acceleration isn't the best. 
at all. Like the BK Aquarius that we previously tested did this test much better. So just gonna play it a bit more so you guys can see that while it is playable for for those of you that are a little bit more a little more a, bit, a little bit more demanding, I would say it won't it won't cut the bill. But I guess if you have any games that you want me to test on this device, just hit me up and let me know, and I'll try to give you a quick preview of it. So I'm just gonna go back now. I'm gonna go back after this, so we can. I'm gonna cut right next to um, some camera samples, some video sa samples, so you guys can see how, how good the camera is and then we'll go, come back for some final talks. So this is the, our usual test location for the video and as you can see here, I'm also talking this time because I want you guys to try and understand if the microphone is good, so leave a comment in the, in the description below to tell us what you think of the microphone. Uh, one thing, I will also can also post pictures of the camera quality if you want. It's 8 megapixels. As always, it doesn't have the best quality in low lighting, as it is, as it is to be expected, but it takes some pretty decent pictures on well-lit places. So, But still, if you want some pictures, I will be happy to help you and post them, down, post them out for you guys to see the quality. Well, so now we're back and the last thing I want to tell you before concluding this review is to show you that it has about 12 gigs of space available for the user and I really enjoyed like uh, using this phone because it's a device that you can use without caring that much. You usually are always like, you need to be really careful with more expensive devices because you don't want to break them and it just doesn't happen the same. You can uh, have a much more carefree usage with this blue, blue Picasso and it provides a decent experience I guess it, it will be like a perfect gift for, for those of you that have someone that is currently getting into the Android device because it is pretty decent it isn't the fastest it isn't the cleanest it isn't the most pretty looking device but it does what it is meant to do which is being a, a, a pretty decent budget phone and I think it's one of the best for the price for about $70, this is just like a must-have. Uh, and anyway, if you have any questions about this phone or want me to help you with anything, just feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to help you with anything. And in the meantime, like this video, share it with your friends because it is you guys that make Inside Geeks grow. See you on the next video, guys.